Eric Demain, <laughs> associate professor in ECS, was educated at the Kibitz or Yeshiva on the Lower East Side of Waterloo, Ontario. <laughs> His great expertise is in folding things. In preschool, he published a notable work on folding paper shopping bags. His bar mitzvah speech was titled, Refolding Planar Polygons, and was regarded as a tour de force exegesis on his mother's commentation recipe. <laughs> Entering rabbinic school at age 15, his talents for reforming and reconstructing seemed to point to a brilliant career in one of the more liberal branches of Judaism. However, he suffered a spiritual crisis when he discovered that there are things that cannot be folded. <laughs> this first became public with his heartbreaking Matzah Manifesto of 1992. <laughs> but with the passing of time, Trauma has given away the scholarship and we are indebted to him for his new paper, Unfoldable Polyhedra with Convex Faces, that places the Latka clearly into the unfoldable category. <laughs> It's a pleasure to be here debating about such important topics and with such esteemed colleagues. But of course I'm here to tell the Lockheed team that they're all wrong. <laughs> Before we get there, I want to talk a little bit about the title of this event. Every year it's called the Lockheed versus Hamantaschen debate. This is clearly biased. The organizers are clearly biased. It's not even an alphabetical order. <laughs> clearly it should be the Hamantaschen versus Lockheed debate. Right? Okay, so let's get to business. I want to start with linguistics and the word hamantash. It sounds so, so silent, you know. Look at all those vowels and consonants. Perfect combinations. You know, it turns out, it's this little known fact that if you change the order of the letters, you can actually reveal why hamantash is so critical to the success of MIT. Hamantashen enhances <laughs> It's clear, Hamantashen, you can't do that with <laughs> Even if you just count the number of syllables, if you just rely on some simple numerical metric, Hamantashen. I mean, that's four syllables. Like, it's just two. Clearly, Hamantashen is twice as good as Latin. <laughs> there are very few foods in the world that have four syllables and a couple. There is only one food that has six syllables, and that is Hamantashen ice cream. <laughs> Can you imagine a Latvian? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm a geometer, so I really shouldn't talk about linguistics. Let's talk geometry. A Hamantasha in its most basic form, in its adult form, is a triangle. A is a circle. Everyone who knows geometry knows that triangles are better than circles. But for those who are not enlightened, I will explain why. First thing is folding, said I'm a folding expert. Uh, if you take a, a circle, you <coughs> fold it into a triangle, and that is how Hamantaschen are made. Uh, so, in fact, you might say that Lockheeds want to fold into Hamantaschen. That is their goal in life. <laughs> Maybe they weren't given the ability to fold, but, but you can privilege them. On the other hand, it is impossible to fold a triangle into a circle. Clearly, Hamantaschen are happy the way they are. They don't want to become circular. It's not even mathematically possible. <laughs> Folding uh, but this is actually part of a much larger phenomenon. The inability to fold a triangle into a circle stems from the fact that circles do not exist. <laughs> when I say circles, of course, I mean the mathematical notion of circles. Perfect circles do not exist in the world as we know it. You might say, Professor Domain, that's a circle, but it's not. If you look really close. <laughs> Do you know this song? 
Alright. Well, for those who don't, I'll sing it for you. It's a partial list, partial, mind you, of things that do not exist. It goes like this. Perfect circles, three-sided squares, and two nested pairs with just one number. Isaac Newton's fourth law of motion, <laughs> rivers and oceans in the moon. Also, the last digit of pi or large dragonflies that eat baboons. <laughs> or what about elves and unicorns? Or cranberries grown with pairs of horns? Or chocolate cheesecake laced with thorns? These things do not exist. <laughs> circle of perfect lines when it's right up there with Isaac Newton's fourth law of motion or three-sided squares. It's clear, I, I mean, this is a theorem, okay? Perfect circles do not exist. The obvious corollary is there is no perfect lucky. Why bother eating them if they can't even be perfect? I searched the internet high and low, and this is the most beautiful latte I can <laughs> Clearly, it's not a circle. And I challenge you to end up finding a lot of these nice circle data on these bits. Where is this well known that perfect commentation fixes? I mean, you can start with an imperfect circle, you can fold and make it a perfect triangle, it's great. It works every time. This is an axiom of the light that we know. Uh, another great fact about triangles, why they're superior over circles, is that they tile the plane. Okay, any triangle tiles the plane, actually, it doesn't even have to be perfect. Triangle. So, in particular, if you're baking your hamantash in the oven, you can perfectly use all of the space in your oven. Whereas, <laughs> you're frying your, your latke in a pan, so even if it's an infinite plane of a pan, you're wasting all of this space, you're wasting all this heat, right? The whole thing is heated, and yet here's this, this stuff that's not making latke if you want to try to make circular latke, which is preferable. So, in fact, Latke encouraged global <laughs> <laughs> irresponsible to make Latke, let alone eat them. <laughs> Clearly, you should go, you should eat Kamatasha. The last story I want to tell is from the book Flatland in the late 1800s. And it tells about this two dimensional world where instead of people, we have regular amphions. Not circles, mind you. Maybe regular hundred guns, that might be the, the lot key. But we have the, our, our basic uh, simplest of the shapes, the triangle. And in this book it argues that, that the more round you are, I suppose the fatter you are, therefore the more royal you are. And in that book, at that time, royal was considered good. Now we know that if ever these guys were encountered in a duel, we know who would win. <laughs> so, Kamatasha, eat them, they will enhance your back.